Hi, good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear my voice. So I hope you can hear me. So let me go to the agenda for today. Mainly this live, I, I want to talk for a few minutes uh, with all of you that uh, I keep getting few uh, emails from our members. Like, um, do we really have any kind of SAP projects now? So I'm getting less calls or these kind of questions we are getting, right? So I wanted to know that uh, I want to share certain information. So before I talk about that, I want to highlight one point. For example, when you see that uh, 2011, when I was studying SAP MM, whoever I know, like I spoke to two, three SAP people because I didn't have any circle and all. So those always mention one point that most of the companies already implemented. Now there are no implementation projects and we have only the support projects. So that, that was completely a immature uh, statement because if you see logically, every year there are hundreds of new companies are started. And in that tens of companies are already established companies are starting their new business. So they won't start like uh, you or myself with a small, small, right? They will start with, directly they will start with 500 crore, right? 100 crore, 1000 crore, even more than that. So here what happens, uh, one point we need to understand that when you are, every year new companies are coming. So within two, three years, they need a ERP to manage their companies or a certain kind of companies, they need the ERP from day one. So from day one, they need ERP and a few companies need within two years or within three years based on their growth. So this is like a cycle, every year new manufacturing companies, new service companies, new retail industries, and new uh, shopping complexes. A lot of things every year, we get hundreds of new things. At the same time, everyone needs an ERP. And uh, that ERP, when they want to consider that SAP was the primary choice. Now, even for SAP was costly and all during uh, 10 years before and all, although the market share is high, now, because of the mid-level, low-level companies also, SAP has introduced public cloud for the low-level companies. Even mid-level also can go for public cloud or private cloud. And a private cloud even were adopted by the big companies. So on-premise anyway will be there. And certain companies can go for some pharmaceutical and all. They might prefer the on-premise. So here, what I want to tell that every year, hundreds of new companies are coming and those companies give importance to SAP or any other ERP. So you will have the continuous implementation projects. You don't have to worry. After the implementation is completed, you need to give the support, the continuous regular uh, business support you have to provide. So that again, you don't have to think of, about much on that. You will have the project and you will get the opportunities, but who can grab those opportunities? So before starting this statement, I want to tell that new companies are going to implement SAP or ERP, any other ERPs. So you will have the plenty of opportunities from the new companies. That is point one. What about existing? There are thousands of companies have been using ECC and they are migrating to S4 HANA. Few companies migrated in 2020, few 21, 22, 23, and many companies are targeting to complete by 26 or 27, even till 2030 it will happen. And there may be some 10 percentage of companies might uh, plan to do in 2031 or 32. So, but most of the companies are planning to do by 27, 28. So the next four years, the so next five years, even let's take it that 2030, which SAP has given the final target. Next six years, you are going to have thousands of ECC to S4 HANA migration projects across the globe. And every year, hundreds of new companies are coming and those companies are going to implement SAP. So two types of opportunities, implementation itself. One is implementation. Second one is maybe implementation or migration from ECC to S4 HANA. If you want to know about what is uh, green field, blue field and brown field, you can check on our YouTube channel. I have a video on that to explain the differences. So these two. And third one, of course, the regular maintenance need to be provided. And based on the customization or uh, new developments, everything is little less means the support also will be less. And, um, but of course, um, any company has to 
provide the regular support and uh, users will resign the attrition and again new users will come and there will be uh, new requirements it's a continuous right when the company is evolving even personally so when you are uh, initial days of your job you might have a uh, one or two shoes and one watch but after five years or ten years of job definitely you will have some four or five watches maybe five to six pairs or eight pairs of shoes so just i'm giving an example but in that way when the company is growing definitely they want to make it certain things automation and they want to make it a certain discount mechanism they want to have a separate software to calculate uh, discounts based on the days okay weekdays certain discount weekend certain discount and also when the festivals are coming certain discount this all those things need to be formula had to maintain in the software which will be given to the people so that's just an example and take it to e-commerce few years before we used to get uh, food for one hour two hours like that now we are getting for 20 minutes 15 minutes and uh, the big basket on the all if you check it uh, if you order one kilometer or half kilometer distance whatever the nearest supermarket from there you are going to get your uh, materials because the big basket is tied up with all these companies and they have in their database based on the pin code they are going to collect it so how these all these things are happening because in the back end certain software is working and certain people are working for the regular maintenance and supporting and the customer care you are working with uh, robotic now you can ask certain questions about the simple questions your bank balance or certain basic questions you are going to get the answer so we are evolving and there will be new opportunities let's talk about only our sap what i mentioned leave about other technologies mobile technologies and all so in sap also we have a new companies are going to implement sap those projects are available and the existing companies are migrating from ecc to s hana those projects will be available and regular maintenance ams or annual maintenance uh, contract annual maintenance services like how we do this regular um, support projects those will be available so certain times you may get less calls and more calls that based on the their project plans any project if they will need they will get it and of course uh, every company uh, during the end of the financial year they may they may not take more recruitment because of their cost center how much budget and this profit and loss p and l related right that can happen and during december you may see little less because uh, major companies like the us uh, Australia, uh, few, many Europe countries, UK, these all countries, maybe, uh, two weeks, three weeks, they are on the Christmas and New Year holidays. You will see certain kind of slowness. Okay. But whether during the slow time or during the peak time, only people who are going to get is continuous learning, continuous upskilling, continuous sharing, uh, like knowledge, first you gain. Sharing also, see, for example, People say that one, I'm not having, I have only two years, what I can share to the people. So that's a completely wrong thinking. I will give the best example from my life. Two examples I will give you. I started charity at the age of, uh, during, during 2007, when I was studying my second year of MSc. I was doing home tuition, mathematics, science, and all. I was getting little amount. In that little amount, I started donating five kg of rice. It's very less today what, different charities I'm doing. But at that time, that was the big thing, the intention. We should have the intention to grow, intention to help. That small thing has become bigger nowadays, whatever I'm doing, different charities and all. So when you're growing, the amount of help will be increased, but the intention will not come at a certain point of time. You need to get it, that intention. If you have the intention, you can do it. Let's take it our SAP. During 2011, when I was studying SAP, uh, three months course was almost 70-80% completed. My trainer got an onsite to Sweden, I think. He went for two, three months. So during those two, three months, I was not much practicing, no classes. We are habitual for the regular classes. Someone is monitoring. So I got a gap of two, three months. Then I felt like, uh, looks like I got diverted from my goal. Okay, I got diverted from what I want to achieve. Then what, I, what did I decide? Okay, let's focus on how to get it. So then I took the room near to the institution. And every day after my office, I used to come at 6, 6.15 or 6.30 from the office. So you are going to 
uh, I, I'm going to every day, evening 6.30 or 7 o'clock to the institute. There are a few juniors who are learning. So at least I was able to learn something. I didn't get the job, still I'm trying. But I used to fix their issues while copying the plant. Few people without copying, they used to create the plant. And few people were like, um, they were just um, uh, not able to get the material also. Some profit center issue, a few, a few valuation classes issues, or they didn't assign the plant to company code. They're getting certain issues during PO creation. Purchasing organization not assigned. This is, this is all kind of issues I was able to fix. And if I couldn't fix it, we were waiting for that uh, trainer. Uh, he, he used to teach by 8 to 9 o'clock or something. At that time, when he came, we used to ask the questions. So I used to go every day after my 8.5 hours of work and uh, half an hour or 40 minutes of journey. I went to that institute and uh, fixing their issues for free. And my salary was also very less. But the intention is to check my skills, how much I learned, how much I remember, how, my, how many issues I'm able to fix it. So that was the intention. But if, with that one hour, if I go for some um, home tuition or something else, I would earn a little more. But our priorities, we need to set it. I want to get a job in SAP. So I have to practice. Alone practicing, let me go to that institute. And they don't ask me to stop it because I'm not attending for any classes. I'm not asking them that every day I will come for one hour, pay me something. So that kind of intention we need to be uh, having, then only we can achieve. Please practice every day. Run your cycle. Keep a company code, two plants, some 20 materials, and uh, create a PO, get the stock, then do the transfer posting, do the goods issue. I have a few videos about that, how to practice with IDA system also. So if you are preparing properly and if you are preparing well with understanding the business processes, what first or second or third interview, you will clear it. If you want to just read interview questions, you want to see that uh, searching for proxy, are you searching for some backdoor job? Then no one can do anything. If you just want to read that questions or read the interview questions only or focus, you are not preparing for the competitive exam. You are preparing for SAP consultant job. Whatever you are learning today, everything is going to be helpful for you from the day one of your SAP consultant job. It will not be wasted. If you are preparing for a competitive, you prepare aptitude, you prepare some reasoning, you prepare some say, uh, social, whatever different things you prepare, but you, your work may be different. You may work in some aviation or you may work in some uh, uh, civil related or mechanic, whatever you may get the job, the government job, whatever you are preparing that. But here the situation is not like that. Today you're learning how to create a plant. You are going to configure once after getting the job. Today you're creating that how to goods issue and uh, accounting determination or IDOCs, interfaces, whatever you're learning, you're going to get benefit out of that. So please focus and please prepare. And there are projects, plenty of projects every year. And India is going to get even more opportunities because of the cost or outsourcing after COVID and all. So many companies are giving to either MNCs or either startup companies based on their calculations and uh, uh, strategies. They will give the opportunities, but you are going to get it. So there will be plenty of opportunities. You don't think in any other way. I hope all of you are going to uh, get good opportunities, but please follow, take an idea system, practice, and take the content or any content what, wherever you are available. If you have a Udemy business login, you can search our courses are available. Even on Udemy, it is available. So take the content or keep a mentor, okay? Because that mentor will be helpful to guide you how to prepare and all. Everybody should have a mentor. Okay, in your three weeks or in your three months or two months of uh, target time, you can buy some 10 hours or eight, eight hours or 20 hours, 15 hours based on a requirement. Buy from that mentor. He will guide you. Uh, he or she will guide you and uh, project you like how to prepare, how to give the interview and uh, how to face the client. These all thing, uh, all those things you can uh, learn and update your skills. I hope. Definitely, all of you are going to learn and improve your skills. And uh, again, for thanks for joining, because I wanted to uh, tell immediately. That's why I came and okay, let's spend for 15, 20 minutes is enough. But I want to share because I'm getting emails about asking. Uh, no one has ID system. Nobody's practicing. Just wanted to, not nobody, most of the people. Okay, if I say that out of 10 people who are preparing, I 
confidently i can say at least six people are not practicing please practice and uh, achieve what you want thanks again and we'll meet with another video thank you